Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you a workaround that I'll use to get the Epson projectile working with my Windows 11 laptop. So the Windows 11 laptop that I use has an onboard wireless network card and for some reason that didn't work, I, haven't been able, I wasn't able to connect to the Epson projectile using the Wi-Fi dongle ELPAP07 which according to the website is compatible with that projector that I'm using. So let me show you what I've done for testing and as a workaround, what I've managed to basically understand and temporarily fix the issue. So let me show you what the problem is. So the wireless adapter that I'm using that is on the actual laptop that I'm using is this one here, Wi-Fi number which is the Intel dual band wireless AC 8265 so let me show you what happens when I use that so I'm gonna just switch it across to that one there so that's this one here yes okay so let me try to connect to it so you can see it so it's on standby at the moment the projector is turned on if I click on connect using the Easy MP Network Projection version 2.89, which is the latest version, it just sits there and it doesn't seem to connect at all. And also try to manually connect to the Wi Fi dongle directly, it also doesn't connect. You just see uh, an error message saying unable to connect, and then this message pops up. A network error occurred, press the troubleshooting button and check the solution. So let me show you when I choose a different adapter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose this one here, 802.11n USB wireless LAN. So that's just a USB Wi-Fi dongle and it just uses the protocol 802.11n. So it's an older protocol compared to the AC one. So let me show you what happens when I Use that one, so connect. And there you go, it's connected. You see you're able to control it here, which gives you an indication that it's connected fine. Let me disconnect that. I also have another USB dongle that is using 802.11ac. Let me switch it to that one. So this is the USB one. It's so the Realtek 8811CU 802.11ac and it's also USB. So that's the same using the same protocol as the onboard one. Let me switch it to that and let's see if it connects. And I found that you also have the same problem. It's unable to connect. Also, when you try to do it manually, it's also unable to connect. So it seems like any adapter that uses 802.11ac, it doesn't seem to work. I've also went into the actual network drivers and tried to force it to use one of the older protocols like 802.11n or 802.11g and it still had the same problem. So there you go guys, the only way to get around this issue is not to use the AC version, so this one here, or any of the ACs. What happens is, you just sit there, it tries to connect, and nothing happens. And that's the workaround I managed to work out. Now, maybe some of you guys out there might have a better solution to this, especially if you don't have an older USB dongle that is 802.11n you might there might be a, a fix for this I don't know I tried contacting Epson and there was actually no 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 real solution except for them saying to contact Microsoft they, they suggest that it's a Microsoft issue with the Microsoft 11 which is currently what I'm using if this video helped you in any way please Give it a like and subscribe to the channel.